Hello, I'm Tricia from realfluencynow.com, and today I'll teach you seven idioms with the word start. And if you haven't already done it, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. The more subscribers I have, the more people I can help with English. And if you want to learn more English from me, then you can either click the link up here or in the description to find out how to do that. Now, the first idiom is don't get me started. This, this is what you say to express frustration about something. It's fairly common. An example is one person might say, what do you think about people that don't believe climate change is real? You might say, oh, don't get me started. Those people drive me crazy. The second one is start off on the wrong foot. This means for something to start in a bad way. For example, we started off on the wrong foot and now she doesn't like me. Yeah. Number three is off to a flying start. This means for something to start really well. For example, if you take the English placement test I made, you will be off to a flying start with becoming fluent in English. Number four, a head start. This means to start or begin something earlier. For example, she finished her homework first because she got a head start on it. Number five is fresh start. This means to begin or start something again. As in, maybe you need a fresh start with learning English. Number six, start off with a clean slate. This is similar to fresh start, especially if you made mistakes before when you did something. So a sample sentence is, he made some mistakes in his last job, but he is starting off his new job with a clean slate. Number seven, jump start. As a verb, this means to start a car that has a dead battery with jumper cables. But it can also mean to get like extra help with getting something to work right. For example, you can jump start your career if you become fluent in English. And I can help you get a fresh start with your English studies so you can jump start your career. <laughs> and you can start off I guess that was a bad joke, even Hope didn't like it. <laughs> and you can start off by taking the English placement test over here. And also there's a link to it in the description. Goodbye. And remember, with Hope, anything is possible.